Now, let me ask a question here, and not to sound like your mother, but how many of you in here are still single? <laughs> All right, and excited about it. That's fantastic. You're not alone. I read the, a study. It says that more than half the people in the United States are single. So look around, see if you think anything you like, because <laughs> chances are you're going to hook up here. I saw some people dancing that were hooking up already. <laughs> Dating has changed so much back in the day. If you were single, you had to get all dolled up. You had to get on your horse, and you had to go down to the trading <laughs> post. And uh, I'm going way back, back then. <laughs> now it's easier. Everybody goes online, and uh, so many different websites on, on dating. There's, there's, and specific, too. There's Christian Mingle for Christian people. There's J-Date for Jewish people. There's <laughs> Craigslist for crazy people. <laughs> Don't do it that way. And the sites are getting so specific now. There's one, this is a true, this is real. It's called youmustlovedogsdating.com. <laughs> and it matches pet owners with other pet owners. And the idea is you add information not only about yourself, but about your dog. And one woman who has a chihuahua had on her site, uh, likes belly rubs, craves attention, steals food. And she was candid about her dog as well, so that was good. <laughs> I think as long as they're getting specific, they should get really specific. I think there should be a site called sleepingtemperature.com. <laughs> it's where you say what temperature you like to sleep at. It's a million dollar idea. Please make all checks out to Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> Send them to me here. Do yourself a favor, bring this up on your first date. Otherwise, you will be, really, you'll argue about this the rest of your lives. I like it cold when I sleep at night. Portia likes it anywhere from hot to trapped inside a volcano. <laughs> very, very hot, she likes it. It's also a fact that being annoyed by the same things brings people together. So what about petpeeve.com, where you could get, you match up things like, you know, things that drive you crazy, like coworkers that microwave broccoli. <laughs> I don't want to name names, but Ed Glavin. <laughs> Or people who bring guitars to parties. They deserve each other. The broccoli and the guitar people. <laughs> Cooking broccoli in my microwave. That's a G chord right there. <laughs> and I've got a pick in my hand. <laughs> it's hard to tell what will bring people together, but it can't, it can't hurt to start with a dance.